Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Shall we begin? Let's begin. We're gonna do a Maggie run today. Our streak is at one because of that bullshit Eden run from two runs ago that I don't want to talk about. And our seed, Swamp Doop. You just type that in there, it's just like it sounds. Swamp Doop. Just do that one up for yourselves and I think you'll find yourself uh, having a good seed along with me here. It is gonna be weird getting used to not having re-rolls. The re-rolls, sometimes they're meaningless, and that's okay, you know? Out of sight, out of mind, I don't really care. That means you're getting good items to begin with. On our last run, our re-rolls probably saved us. They gave us things like Cricket's body, a good chance of becoming Guppy, all sorts of fantastic stuff like that. I'm still using, like, re-rolls, not nearly in the most efficient way, but I'm starting to feel like I'm in the zone today, at least. I'm excited about that. If we could perhaps have the opportunity to pick up some uh, great items early, that would be awesome. It feels like it's been like four runs since I've gotten good damage super early in the run. Mind you, on those four runs, I'm pretty sure we got Brimstone and Guppy on like three of them, so I can't really complain. But early, early damage is better than late damage. That's all I'm trying to say here. We have not found our item room yet. <sighs> we might as well before we find the boss. Ugh, such a hassle to digitally walk three rooms over to pick up a free piece of treasure. Ugh. Life's so hard. Alright. Inside we find Super Bandage, which is actually amazing. But we had to walk for it. Why couldn't they have put the item room right next to the boss room, Mom? It's fucking bullshit is what it is. Knowing that we had Super Bandage, I actually should have sacrificed uh, some HP on that Spike Altar, but it doesn't really matter in the whole scheme of things. Probably, let's fight our boss. We've got a very good chance of getting a deal with the Devil on the next floor now, which gives us a very good chance of winning this run in general. Here's how nonplussed I am by the Duke of Flies. I was like, my space bar feels like a little moist. So I like took my other hand off the keyboard instead of even aiming at him. It was just like wiping it off a little bit with my, my hand here. I don't think it's moist though, I think it's just uh, my, my brain having a little bit of an issue or something like that, but that's okay. As long as the Isaac relevant parts of my brain stay active, that's the only thing that matters. Look, I'll be straight up with you, I've done a lot of runs today, and on almost every single one of them my dodging has been absolute, absolute shit. I'm not proud about it. You know, I'm, I'm, I've realized I'm slumping a little bit, I've been saying that a lot. We probably have still been, you know, winning four out of five runs consistently. Uh, maybe three out of four runs consistently, but I don't want to win three out of four runs consistently. I want to win 19 out of 20 runs consistently, and we're going to have to play better to make that happen. And I know that I've got to get my confidence back inside of me. Hopefully we, this will be a, you know, a good step on the, the road to that. I'm not saying that it's going to be, a, you know, this run's going to solve all our problems by itself here, but it's it's been a good start. Super Bandage is a great item. Remember when we unlocked Super Bandage and then it showed up on once every three runs? Remember when we unlocked the D100? And it's never showed up? Well, I'm glad I took the opportunity to come in here early. We, we probably had to do the room either way. It's nice that we uh, get to do it and get the item room right after as a reward. Hopefully the item room ends up being good. I don't like spiders. The squeezy pickup is great as well for the tiers upgrade. So we really did improve ourselves quite drastically on that last floor. And beyond that, we, we didn't only improve ourselves, but we got ourselves in a position where we're likely to be improved on this floor as well. Samson's Chains... Look, when it rains, it pours. Samson's Chains has been showing up all the dang time. It is theoretically possible. We should go back for that. But it is theoretically possible that we could uh, get enough money from Samson's Chains blowing up pots to get something from our shop on this floor. But it's so tedious. It is the most tedious. But I'll tell you what. We'll I was going to say, we'll go on a streak. Every pot that gets it, we'll keep opening up another pot afterwards. Every pot that gives us a single penny. All right, well, that one broke, but that's all right. We're still going to get... Are you kidding me with this shit? Like that. Like... Th like this. Oh, my God. Okay, get it spinning. Get it spinning. Get it spinning. Spin it to win it. Fuck. We still got seven cents. It's pretty good, but it's not uh, exactly what I was looking for. Ooh, baby. If we could just get Samson's chain to work here... Got to get like a little, little of this. Hey, it actually worked. Yeah, I'll open it. That is a staggering amount of money. Now, if we could just get our key back, we could actually open up that shop. But hey, or we could get something useful from that shop potentially. But hey, the, you know, Samson's chain has already relatively proved its usefulness, I'd say. Hang back a little bit. My thinking is that, uh, yeah, exactly what happened would happen. 
by uh, putting Samson's chain in between me and the bomb flies. They explode the chain. Works as a decent shield. I say decent because it's not good necessarily, but it is okay at keeping, especially like charging enemies away from you. Also good at, you know, deflecting bones and stuff like that. It doesn't really deflect them, it just absorbs them, but... Before we go fight our boss, I recognize that we're being probably a little more slow than it's necessary here. Uh, but I want to go to our shop, because if we go to our shop and we end up finding maybe a candle or something in there, I'd get rid of left hand for that. Sharp plug, jar. Look, we'll take sharp plug. It's not great, but if we get other spacebar items, it could be very good. Recognize that we're probably going to be skipping the secret room on this floor. My apologies. Who are we going to be fighting against here? Fistula. Maybe this is great. I wonder if we could just kind of like sit in the corner and leave Samson's chain in front of us, and then like when these parts walk through it, yeah, they'll they'll take a ton of damage in the process. Or we can actually, if we find ourselves in the right kind of convenient area to do so, we can actually drag Samson's chain over the fistula parts. So I'm going to take damage in the process here, but I still think that this was actually like, fistula is actually pretty hard countered by Samson's chain. That's kind of cool. So we get another HP upgrade. At this point, we could use some damage, and we're going to not get it. But Sacrificial Dagger is lovely, and Goathead is fantastic, and we can now rest relatively assured that we're probably going to have a very good chance of getting whatever damage we need on a future run. So thank God we got all those damage upgrades. Or all those HP upgrades, because I'm looking to trade them away on this floor. Or on future floors, for that matter. So we've got a lot of good orbital action here, which is why I'm being a little bit more aggressive than I should be. I'm sure at this point, you know, Sacrificial Dagger and Samson's Chains have showed up on like three runs or four runs each. Uh, recently. I'm sure people are gonna be like, fuck. <laughs> I'm so sick of watching Northern Lion take damage by walking himself into enemies with Sacrificial Dagger. Look, I'm gonna be making re Rebirth episodes for a long time. Might as well just tell you now, you know, that's that's how I play the game. I'm gonna be making some, some dumb mistakes like that in the, uh, in the name of impatience. I'm not a conservative player for the most part. I'm, a, I'm a, an aggressive player. Knowing that that leads to mistakes, I, I do it anyway. We can actually afford to be a little bit more aggressive, or we can get away with it. I shouldn't... It, I'm not going to make it sound like it's a good thing. Because it is just largely born out of impatience. That was just terrible. But we have Yumheart, so we're going to pick up uh, HP when we lose it. And with Goathead, what does it matter if we get hit? You know, we're going to be able to get to uh, our deals with the devil anyway. The only reason it'll truly be a cause for alarm is if we die. Which, you know, at that point, you'd, you'd hopefully step in before anything that drastic happened. Not taking great damage now. I'll admit, maybe my strategy was a little bit, a little bit naive. I might like to preserve a little bit of our HP here as we move along, but as long as we live through our boss fight, we should have a good deal with the devil opportunity here. Who is our boss going to be? You know, our boss is Cobra backwards. The Hollow. Well, the Hollow is, you know, relatively hard countered by Sacrificial Dagger and probably Samson's Chains as well. If we can just get the chain position in such a way that they have to fly through it. Wow, good start. Um, then that's great. Well, even the Silkworms, you know, every boss we've faced so far has been fucking Silkworm crazy, but uh, if the Silkworms chase us down, they have to go through Samson's Chain to do so. Did you see that fucking shot? That was ridiculous. We're in such a great position that I feel bad about our lack of HP because it just makes me feel like I've played terribly, which isn't totally false. It had to happen. A Krampus fight. I don't relish the thought of jumping in there against Krampus and hitting him with Sacrificial Dagger, but we'll throw some bombs down, make it a little easier on ourselves, and... Yeah, okay, so Krampus's head is better than Yamahart. But we will have to augment our strategy and play a little bit less aggressively than my completely idiotic uh, playstyle has been on this floor. I knew that we were going to race it, and I was like, there is no way I'm getting hit in the process. What would I love to see on this run? Oh, man. Well, with Sharp Plug, if we could get the Wafer, we can use Krampus's head whenever we want. That's pretty nice. Apart from that, we still just have an item room to get to on this floor, so let's not, uh, let's not get too ahead of ourselves yet. Our curse room is available. Uh, as much as I enjoy having an extra spirit heart here, I think it would be in our best interest to get to that curse room. 
inside we find two black hearts. That oftentimes ends up being the case. This room is just done. It's a dead end. Uh, we actually can fight these bonies very effectively with Sacrificial Dagger. It's it's kind of like if we could have Sacrificial Dagger and Trinity Shield, that would be amazing. Loki's Horns. You know what? I'm not going to pick up Loki's Horns. We had a Loki's Horns run, and I hated it somewhat recently. And it means that we can't pick up stuff like Ipecac. I like Ipecac. A lot more than I like Loki's horns. So I'm sorry, Loki's horns, but to be honest with you, you haven't fucking earned it. Maybe if you actually provide me with like a good synergy at some point in my life, instead of just, hey, this looks kind of cool, then uh, I would consider it. But for now, you're on uh, fucking timeout. All right. I'm going to rehydrate as we take this opportunity to go down to the next floor. A little faster than uh, baseline, which is okay. Boss rush is on the table. Not an incredibly overpowered run, but we've already... Yeah, learn from your mistakes for once. We've already paid our Krampus tax. We have Krampus's head, sharp plug, sacrificial dagger, Samson's chains, and the goat head. Goat head, uh, one of the more important things, probably among that bunch. Yeah, I like this. Okay. Come on, Demon Judgment. Come on. Come on. Not really what I was looking for, but I'll accept it. Because it gives us a little bit more HP with which to take in here. Maybe snag a guppy item or some spirit hearts or anything along those lines. Sure, I mean, we could have come into this... Ooh, jeez. We could have come into this room with uh, Krampus's head charge, and that would make, like, this fight a lot easier. Charge me. Charge me, bro. I'm trying to get Samson's chain lined up so that you'll have to go through it. It sort of worked. Oh, but then I got hit by a freaking bullet. That is embarrassing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I did it, okay. Two pills, don't want to take those just yet. Man, I forgot that all of the enemies that you fight on this level are bullshit. I can see forever is great. Amnesia is awful. Of all the pills, that one and like, are you a wizard are the most annoying for me. Yeah, and speed down as we, we learned. Thank you for not creating creep immediately there. Yeah, okay, you didn't follow the same rule that time, but that's okay. I was going to say, I don't want to be here anymore. No creep, no creep, no creep. No creep till Brooklyn. We're fine. I mean, there's HP that I didn't see, and we're actually almost back to maximum HP, which is nice. Now, we could go play this Blood Bank, and I think I'm going to do so in the hopes of being able to get something from our shop. If Sharp Plug only took Red Hearts, I would like it a lot more, but it's okay. You run into a tough room. Awful, awful damage potential there. If you run into a tough room, very simple. I'm just going to pop that uh, Krampus' head and get out of there as soon as possible. What's in our secret room? Keys, please. Any? No? Okay. I might want to go back then. The reason I came into this room was like, maybe there will be uh, an item room over here. Amnesia has made this a little tedious. Empress. Hmm. Unfortunately, we can just know right away that there is no way of there being a cursed room there. So I don't want to go there. Or Sorry, no way of being a secret room adjacent to that cursed room. So I don't want to go to it. Because it scares me. And, uh, you know, I think with good reason scares me. Oh my god, you're going to bad trip me like that? This is actually quite scary. No, thank you. I'm not going to die for that money. I got to be very, very quiet. Wouldn't it be great if Sacrificial Dagger ended up killing me because I was too aggressive when using it? I mean that honestly. Wouldn't it be great? You know, it would teach me a fucking lesson. And a lesson that I, you know, have been very, very slow to learn. Broken remote, huh? That's been showing up a lot today, too. Lending some credence to the notion that maybe there's still, like, some, you know, time of day involved in the RNG calculation in, in Rebirth. Getting a lot of the same trinkets and items dropping. Just fine by me. Give me some more Death's Touch action. Give me some more Brimstone. We've had that a lot recently. Give me some more Guppy. I appreciate that extra HP. That's very important to me. If I, you know, if you chase me down, good. Just don't get too close yet because I'm worried about uh, accidentally popping these mushrooms and finding myself in a terrible spot. Hey, I can't pick that up yet without risking crushing the mushrooms and ending my own life. 
So with Goathead, this is this is a very important floor. This is like the floor where I kind of feel like the whole thing either comes together or falls apart. We should get... Well, we'll definitely get a deal with the devil, I think. But in addition to that deal with the devil... If we live, who knows what kind of greatness could be in here. Not a greed fight. I appreciate that. I'll take the map. Probably could justify picking up that red heart if we're being honest and dark bum I like you dark bum plus again I don't mean this in a negative way to dark bum but picking up dark bum like that means there's no chance that we end up getting dark bum on our devil room you know we already got it it's a good thing what is that pill I can see forever we already used that one on this floor what's our other pill the Empress amnesia I think I can see forever is a little bit better than the Empress. Normally I'd use the Empress against the boss. Jeez. Normally I'd use the Empress against the boss, but we're just going to use Krampus's head against the boss instead. Much appreciated. I appreciate that. Yeah, Sacrificial Dagger. This is an example of it kind of saving my day here. I like it. No, 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 Dark Bomb. That one was for me. Okay, you made a mistake there. If you can give it back in the form of a spirit art, that would be awesome. That is not a lover's card. That is not a lover's card. High Priestess is pretty good. I guess I'll let you have this one. Um, we'll take High Priestess, but I can see Forever is better. My thinking is if this boss is annoying, which it is, we can stomp it and then Krampus is headed. That worked uh, fantastically. We get damage. No enemies to fight in here except spiders. Oh, it's good, it's good, it's good. Okay, we need the Pact. On top of the Pact, I think we need... Well, let's take it all. Yeah, now we can fly. We got one of the guppy items. And we're going to go back and pick up I Can See Forever. Now, we're going more slowly than we should. If we want to get to boss rush. But fuck boss rush. I just want to win. So we have extra damage. The ability to fly. One guppy item. This is a good start. Yeah, let's do it. I'm ready. Two of clubs, huh? And in a way, I'm most happy about the extra damage, because it means that I'm going to shoot at enemies as I walk towards them with Sacrificial Dagger. Hopefully most of them die before I get close enough to do damage to myself, because I can't be trusted. I say that a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but you, you understand that there's a little bit tru of truth in that joke as well. But mostly the reason I was uh, able to go down so low on HP... I guess we could just pop this and then take uh, the rest with us. The reason I was able to go so low on HP is because of the fact that we have um, Dark Bomb now. So we'll need Red Hearts to pay out, but uh, Dark Bum at least gives us the, the confidence to do that. And I think now we should be looking at probably like a, a, a likely win on this run, but it's still very, very early. Too early to call anything, that's for sure. Don't get that's I take damage in that situation so much, just trying to force the Sacrificial Dagger play when I really should not be. Greed Fight doesn't bother me. Yeah, Sacrificial Dagger's in, in time here if he wants to shoot. That's more than enough money to make our shop worthwhile. The unfortunate part is that we won't be able to play our Demon Judgment, really. If we blow him up, I think we get a... I was just going to say the dumbest thing I've ever said. If we blow him up, I think we get a better deal with the Devil Chance. We already have Goathead. That might actually be true, but it's so meaningless that it doesn't matter. Okay. Both secret rooms very close together. Should be very cautious. I was not being very cautious there. Do we know any of these? Amnesia. Okay, health up. Bad gas. Speed down. The health upgrade is is something. We do have our boss fight right here, which I'm very excited about. Horror battle on nine lives. Maybe a little optimistic. So we get the screw, which we have to take. And then our deal with the devil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take it. I think it didn't ma I was just trying to figure out if it mattered if we took, like, uh, the one before the other or something like that. So we still got to find our item room. We're not going to do boss rush here. Just give up the ghost on that one. I should shoot all these. Mostly for the chance of Dark Bum to pay out with, uh, well, to get a red heart, then Dark Bum pays out with a spirit heart. If we get some red hearts in the process of this, that wouldn't be the worst. Excuse me? That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Because I, uh, like if we get extra red hearts, I guess. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world because I can actually 
use that to uh, play the demon judgment a little bit, or just to keep myself alive, I suppose, if you're into pussy stuff like that. How do I feel about this chaos card? Great! Uh, the chaos card is, is worth saving until the, the very, very late game, and then using it against, you know, some of the asshole bosses. Like, we'll probably use it... This is for you. This is for you. This is for you. This is for you. Yes, my favorite. Um, you know, it's worth saving until Isaac, and then using it there, for example. I did that... Oh, my God. I did it all to blow up that fucking skull. Okay, brain? We need to take you in for a recalibrating, because you're making some incredibly silly decisions that you think are strategic and cute, but end up just being incredibly, you know, thick-headed. What a great word. Uh, that one's... yeah, sure, go ahead. I could, I'd rather have the spirit hearts. Death card. These ones on the end are a little harder to get. Star's card is not really that meaningful for us, but I might take it just so we can like finish off this room a little faster. Or, uh, not this room, this this floor a little faster. Good. Wheel of Fortune, not that important. Have we been to our shop on this floor? I don't think we have. Okay, you don't understand. Like this, like this, there we go. We had two death cards. Look, I'm not going to be using them both. Let's use stars just to get to our room quickly. It's Epic Fetus. Even though we're not in a one position, I, I value cool tier effects too much to take Epic Fetus on this run. There have been times where I've compromised that, uh, and it, it's been worthwhile a lot of those times, but not this time. Cool item, though. Um... I, like, it's not just, I could frame it like, oh, you know, I'm the man of the people, I don't want to ruin your enjoyment of the run by taking Epic Fetus, but really, like, taking Epic Fetus just sort of ruins my enjoyment of the run. I'd rather become Guppy a hundred times in a row than take Epic Fetus, unless, and this is an exception, unless taking Epic Fetus is the only thing that would win the run for us, and I don't think we're in that position. Luckily, we're very lucky to not have to be in that position, so, I'm okay with this. You might not be, that's okay. I can't control how you feel about it. Wonder if we'll ever be able to crack these. We got one. I don't want to risk doing that again. Gotta fight into the current instead of away from it, you know? It's like Apollo 13. Alright, 20 minutes deep. We got really good stuff happening on this run, and really scary stuff happening on this run. But for now, we'll be moving down to the next floor. I'll rehydrate a little. Curse of the Unknown. A little scary when it comes to deals with the devil. We have one red heart and two and a half special hearts, if I remember correctly. Let's give it a try. Oh, this is Dark Bum's time to fucking shine. Spirit heart. Two spirit hearts. Three spirit hearts. Ah, ah, ah. What did I tell you? Dark Bum. So that's a deal with the devil right there. And I haven't even invested any effort into it. All I had to do was not take some red hearts. I know that there's going to be some people saying, Hey, asshole. They might be nice about it, but I'm going to be mean about it because it makes my point easier. Um, use Krampus's head. I don't think that's necessary on a room like this. And now that I think about it, actually, the broken stopwatch obviously has the potential to backfire. Chariot. Judgment. Sun. Wow. Wow. We're going to use the sun card, find the secret room. Is there an arcade? There is. We'll use our chariot card on that. We'll just throw this judgment down, like right here. I'm going to play him, because we're going to be able to get enough money uh, out of this floor via our chariot card to make this work. This is like a really nice assortment of, uh, of tarot cards for us. More than happy to have that HP, and then trade it away later. Just don't forget about the chaos card. It's easier said than done. Uh, I didn't think about it, but Sacrificial Dagger ooh, plus uh, Broken Stopwatch is actually a pretty good combo. That room was probably not worth the Krampus' head charge either. That being said, as always, you know, do as I say, not as I do. That room, I was like, that room's going to be annoying. Devil card is fine, but like, not that meaningful. There we go, I got into a method there. Two of hearts. Uh, I think if I, I think that gives me full HP right there, so we're just gonna stick with the chariot. I'm gonna walk in here and just do this. Mostly for the extra money that we can now use on the shop. 
I know we took damage in the process there. That's gonna do it. Enough for a spirit heart and uh, whatever else we may desire. And then we just basically have to go up here. So we might as well take our chaos card with us. We're not gonna go to any other special rooms uh, on the other sides here because there are no other special rooms on the other sides here. And I think we'll get basically just enough of a charge in order to make uh, Krampus' head ready for our mom fight, which is good. We're not gonna use chaos card on mom. Much better served on an Isaac or Blue Baby. More money. I thought this room was empty and I got so excited. Imagine my uh, disdain when I discovered it's actually like my least favorite room of all time. I can wait, that's all right. Oh, I'm a great waiter. I can wait all day, girl. Harlequin Baby. Again, uh, what I like about Harlequin Baby is that it's half decent and we never have to see it on a devil room now. Look, you should judge by my reaction that I don't really love this setup, but, um, you know, being able to, if we don't want to use Krampus's head, we don't have to use Krampus's head anymore. I mean, we never did, but now we can actually benefit from not using it and take, for example, two Krampus's head charges into maybe a mom's heart boss fight and just make that fight guaranteed to be, uh, over quickly. I don't think it's the worst decision, or it's the, it's the worst pickup. Plus, we don't have any control over it, so, whatever. Uh, all right. These guys are up to some weird shit in here. Did I come at a bad time? I'm just gonna go fight the boss. So we're gonna get Sacrificial Dagger in order. That was a pretty good start. The fight is very nearly over before it's even really begun and I'm very excited by our deal with the devil potential. We were about four minutes shy of boss rush which is, that's no small amount of time. But we should be speeding up now after a relatively slow start. We're taking the Polaroid because the, the D100 could still show up at some point. Book of Belial, um, it's good. And we can use it more often than Krampus' head. But I kind of feel like since we're already guaranteed to get deals with the devil, it's just not as exciting as Krampus' head. Plus we use Book of Belial all the time. You know, we got a Judas run coming up. Let's just enjoy, let's enjoy it while it lasts. Uh, I'm going to guess that we've got bottom left boss action here. Uh, basically... That was a bit of a tough call. Because it would only, if for six rooms, we could get a double Book of Belial charge, which, I mean, I, I know we could maybe use um, Sharp Plug to get some charges on Krampus' head faster, but, you know, it's not really in our best interest for the most part. But anyway, um, I understand the, the value of it, but at the same time, I kind of feel like, why bother? Which is also how I felt about uh, Umbilical Cord when we just saw it. I was like, I don't even have a trinket, but why bother? You know, there's min-maxing and then there's... Um, min-maxing that... I don't have a clever name for it, but min-maxing that just doesn't actually improve your chances of winning. And I think taking Umbilical Cord has like a 0% chance on our chances of winning. I've played like a thousand hours of, of Rebirth and Vanilla combined. And I still have no idea precisely what Umbilical Cord does. I think it gives you a familiar when you get down to like half of a heart, which might just give us a familiar automatically. How's that for a rule? If I don't know exactly what an item does, I can't take it. No, maybe not exactly. That, that one's gonna get me burned. If I don't know roughly what an item does, I can't take it. Mama Gertie. With Krampus' head, uh, an easy fight. Sacrificial Dagger doing some work as well. This fight is over. And this is an important deal with the devil. Don't love the speed upgrade, I'll tell you straight up. Satanic Bible. Well, I will trade Satanic Bible basically just as a two red hearts for one black card trade straight up. Because this does allow us to get into permanent Polaroid invincibility state, which is extremely nice when uh, we have Sacrificial Dagger. Full stop. That's pretty much it right there. Uh, boss room. Probably top right, but I'm going to check bottom left just because it's the path of least resistance. What am I thinking? Fire your fucking tears. I'm so mad at myself. And it's entirely my own fault. It's just like, it's it's a combination of like laziness and bravado, I guess, which is the worst kind of person. No offense. I've been there. But, you know, I shouldn't be proud of my laziness here. I should be not hiding it, but rather trying to do my due diligence at the very least. One spirit R for our curse room? Sure. Let's consider this kind of a punishment for the damage I've taken thus far. Maybe we'll... Well, we, we're gonna break even and actually pick up some spiders on it. I was kind of hoping the guppy dream would come true. It's unlikely, though. And now let's check, like, far left. Because, again, like, it, 
it's fairly, you know, equal chances, I'd say, of where our boss room's gonna be. We, we started pretty much in dead center, which might seem great, because you're close to all the exits, or you're close to all the um, terminals, but I actually kind of don't think that it is a, uh, a good thing, because if you guess wrong, you could end, like, it's a lot easier to guess wrong, I guess, is the very roundabout explanation that I'm trying to give here. I'm also trying to keep two Krampus's head charges, and we're gonna be able to get there, because we guessed wrong. I think we'll, when we get two Krampus's head charges, we'll use one whenever it's appropriate, but we'll try to make sure that we're carrying two whenever we come into boss fights. Because it seems to me like if we take two into the, oh, Dark Bomb, that's for you, buddy. Seems to me if we take two into the uh, Isaac's Isaac boss fight, we can nearly kill Isaac, thus saving our Chaos card for the um, just thus saving our Chaos card for the uh, Blue Baby fight, which might be more meaningful. We'll see though. I don't want to do that. Is the problem? I specifically traded away to avoid that. We got more keys in the process. It's kind of open for some red hearts, but okay. I can see forever is maybe worth fighting for. I don't want the health upgrade. If there were enough, oh, that was so bad. If there's enough half hearts on the ground, maybe I could make something happen there. But I don't know, man. I, we we should win this run. We don't have many reasons that are viable for losing it, except for my own ineptitude here. But that might end up being kind of a dominant factor. My own idiocy. Don't ever... Oh my god, are you kidding me? I didn't kill him in that amount of time? Okay, this is supreme laziness. You gotta get over this. This is an incredibly bad habit, and you're letting... You're letting yourself blame the game for your own idiocy. Don't do that. That's that's very poor form. We blow these up. Oh my god, I played it. <laughs> it's worth it. It shouldn't be worth it, though. Good, good, good. This is Dark Bomb's time to shine. But man... I am... I'm not playing well. We might win regardless, but let's let's try not to take pride in that fact. I want to just keeping four cards is fine by me. Four keys is what I mean to say, of course. Sorry, Demon Judgment. The tribe has spoken. Yeah, good. Okay, Master of Unlocking is better. We gained a lot of uh, well, we gained a decent amount of HP there. But don't ever follow my example from that room. That was god awful. Just very sloppy play that fortunately we were not punished for. But that's not going to happen all that often. The other thing we could do is use two Krampus' head charges against Mom and then the Chaos card against Blue Baby. I think Curved Horn is actually better without uh, Guppy's tail. What do you think? I think it's better to use our best things against our best bosses. So, I think one Krampus's head charge here is for the best. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll take a little damage in the process, but we also pretty much destroyed any chance that uh, Mom's heart had early. That's not bad habits on my behalf there. That was just bad damage. That shit's gonna happen from time to time. So now we'll have two charges for, um... Two charges for, uh... Isaac, presumably. There's a Tinted Rock here. Because the game is far too kind to me. And I have Samson's Chain. Did not need to put a bomb down there, but I did. It's okay. I'm starting to think that I'm better off without Samson's Chain. Or, uh, without Sacrificial Dagger, because I can't be trusted with it. I don't think that this is the right way to go to get to the boss fight. But I do think it's the, it's the fastest conceivable way that could be right. So we're going to try. I don't want that. No Tinted Rock. Counterfeit Penny a little bit, you know, past its welcome. Now, there's pretty much only one option. It has to be top right, which is fine. Yeah, I'll open it. Dark Bum, if, if it were not for you, this run would be over. I think he created some spiders there, but still. I don't buy it. I don't buy the idea that Dark Bum is bad now, because he's not. Dude is still off the chain. Useful. There is some value to AAA battery here, but Curved Horn is still better, I think. I'm very happy that we're going to have a cane run next, but I'm mostly happy that we got that Judas run coming up. Like, the Judas Blue Baby section is one of my favorites, even though it doesn't always work out. 
especially early. You like that dodge? I gotta like watch a montage of my world's worst dodges and then I'll be like, oh, I should stop doing that, huh? Sacrificial Dagger, maybe it's the best item that I should stop picking up. Maybe Sacrificial Dagger is like the new uh, chocolate milk for me. Good, but not for me. Dark Bomb. Thank you for, for choosing this run to redeem yourself publicly. I appreciate it more than you can ever know. Well, right? Why not? Uh, we should still be able to get another charge for the Isaac fight, or we can just use the Chaos card if we want to, or we can just use one cramp as a said charge. It's still pretty good. What do you think? Think there could be a secret room over here? I certainly hope so. Could be. Might be. Isn't, but we won't do anything about that yet, because there could be one over here. Good sacrificial dagger action. I think the the trick with sacrificial dagger is the trick is holy mantle. <laughs> if you can get holy mantle, then sacrificial dagger becomes a little bit less of a a liability, or I become a little bit less of a liability with it. Yeah, there you go, precisely. But dark bomb is uh, worth its weight in gold, so I can afford to be an idiot. Not our secret room. I'm gonna go to our uh, curse room though. The chaos card also gives us a great deal of tolerance. If I make a terrible mistake, we still have the chaos card. Chaos card is all we need to kill the boss as long as we don't mess it up. We are not gonna get a uh, a second Krampus's head charge. So you know what? I think I'm gonna use chaos card against blue uh, against Isaac, just so we can finish the fight. Oh, such awful damage. This is the most frustrating best run I've ever had. And as a result of this, we will we'll one-shot Isaac, get down to the chest. On the chest, we'll be a little bit more sparing about our Krampus' head usage, maybe. Very easy kill, of course, and then we're down to the next floor with more than enough keys to make this happen, but... I, I don't think we're in trouble, but I don't... I don't feel like I'm playing very well. Big fan will help. Triple shot is nice. Miter is very, very nice. Okay, so the game is being very kind to me. I appreciate it. I know I'm beating myself up a little bit here, but I think I deserve to be beating myself up a little bit here. Immediately, I was like, use Krampus's head. We can't do that. It's a bad habit. We can't just immediately use Krampus's head whenever we run into trouble. Did we get any luck upgrades in this run? Are we likely to find chests? I don't think so. Well, Daddy Long Legs. A slow Daddy Long Legs is sometimes kind of dangerous. Not so bad, though. So we will be looking to kill Gluttony's last if we end up on a room with multiple uh, enemies of the sort. Super Gluttony's, Gluttony's. They'll make Dark Bum particularly effective. We got in there with Sacrificial Dagger. I guess it just didn't quite finish the job, though. Big Fan's gonna help out with our invincibility. We got a nice little orbital kind of triumvirate here. I don't think Little Chub, Little Chad, sorry, is worth um, using a Krampus's head charge. We might only get one or two on this floor. Let's save that shit for like double cage, double adversary. Double, double Chad is just a, a little annoying in the whole scheme of things. Nice. Like even this room. It's not so bad. We're gonna try to kill War first, and Famine last, despite the HP discrepancy between them. Because, in doing so, we'll gain another Spirit Art, and who knows if that's gonna be the most important thing for us in this whole run. Bad damage, but hey, we'll get an HP in the process, conceivably. Broke even. That's okay, it's better than not breaking even. So Gertie Jr., this one's gonna die. Yeah, the other one, I mean, it should die before it even gets a chance to get close. Let's just throw this bomb completely against the wall, just in case it decided to teleport over there, I suppose. Chest? Yes. That's all right, you know? We can use those when we have invincibility against uh, against Blue Baby. Gotta be honest, you know, one phase of luck that doesn't always get talked about with me is room generation. And we've been very lucky to have a pretty easy room generation on this floor. this room. It's still not worth the bloat. Or sorry, it's still not worth Krampus' head. 
Which kind of has a similar attack to the bloat, now that you think about it. Good save. We can fly, so we can get up close and personal. Big fan, Sacrificial Dagger helping out. Surprisingly long way to go to get to our boss fight. Uh, Unicorn Horn, you might be saying, for Christ's sake, pick up Unicorn Horn. You keep taking the dumbest damage of all time. You may be right, Unicorn Horn might be the right choice, but I'm thinking double Krampus' head is worth way more in terms of raw damage. Doesn't really matter who I kill first as far as I'm concerned here. Good stuff. Neutered uh, Pestilence at least, he's gonna be dead now. War will be soon to follow. Six HP is more than enough to beat Blue Baby with if we're going the right way here. A little skeptical of that, but this room should have a good chance to pay out. It's amazing to me how quickly I've soured on Sacrificial Dagger after loving it. Well, lard is not what I want. And it's not that it's a bad item, it's quite the opposite, it's just that I'm bad with it. But I can't, like, again, I'm a slave to the... I can't believe I didn't get hit. I'm a slave to the damage. If Sacrificial Dagger's doing a lot of damage, even though it's high risk, unless it'll guaranteed get me killed, I'm gonna roll with it. So this is, like, approaching the point where I would love to use, um... Krampus's head here. But at this point, on the floor, I can't guarantee that we, uh, will even get to a second charge before Blue Baby. It's okay, though. Again, we still have 5 HP. Starting to get a little lower. That'll be me before the boss fight. Well, we still have 2 HP, so we should be fine. One period of per permanent Polaroid invincibility is all you need. Double Mega Ma room is not bad. Don't even need to get close to this last one, it's just gonna die. In fact, we don't need to get close to any of them. Why would I risk it if they don't even have the range necessary to hit me? We'll just stay far, far away, not even use any bombs. Those have the potential to backfire. I can't believe that we have not discovered our, uh, our freaking item room, or not our item room, obviously, our, our boss room. That's the room that's the number one item on my list, but I, I can't really show much sympathy to my brain for getting that one confused. We don't really have any place winning this run, but I think we are going to. And that's nice. It feels good when that happens, even when it shouldn't. Feels good for me, anyway. Inevitably is going to frustrate people out there who think that they played well on recent runs, but didn't get the same kind of luck that I'm getting. Hey, you know, it's it's uh, it's a luck-based game to some extent. You gotta make your own luck, which I don't know if I necessarily did here. I, if I didn't get the goat head on this run early on, I think it would have just been a straight-up disaster, but... Well, this is, like, the worst, because I really would love to... This is the, the room that is definitely the best candidate on this whole floor, in my opinion, for using uh, one Krampus's head charge. Not great damage on my part there, but perfect opportunity to fit a bomb in there. 4 HP. Is 4 HP enough? 4 HP should be enough with two Krampus's head charges. Now let's prove that the battery was the right pickup. Even if, even if it hits you, you gotta stay in there to do the damage. Oh, he's slowed anyway. Alright, so we can just stay super far away. Well, it's kind of a cheap way to win it, but I'll take it. Throw in the poison bombs whenever it's appropriate. Gotta sneak him past the, again, the Varangian guard there. Don't ever get close to me again, okay? Only There's only two people that are close to me in this world. Former Seattle Mariners pitcher Randy Johnson and my wife. Are you former Mariners pitcher Randy Johnson or my wife? I don't think so, Blue Baby, so stay out of my personal space. It's a win. Whether or not it should be is something that can be argued on another day. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.